In the actual delivery of information or material, we're going to use the teaching process of explain, demonstrate, imitate, and practice. If you want to learn more about this process in depth, especially for firearms applications, I personally recommend Mike Sequander's book, The Art of Instruction. But for our purposes here, what we're doing is using this process to kind of navigate our way through the brain's information system. Whenever we're engaging with somebody in a mentoring type role, and we're delivering them new information, this is a great method to use. Explain what you're doing first. Encourage questions. The more somebody's brain is engaged, the more likely they are to learn. Then demonstrate properly. Remember, Observation is one of our keys to making somebody actually learn the information. Imitate. Here we're combining observation with the physical performance of the skill itself. And this begins building repetition, increasing the likelihood that that information is going to be retained. And then practice. You can think of practice kind of as taking off the training wheels. This is where you let the student fail so they can learn. It doesn't mean you don't provide feedback, but it does mean you don't micromanage what the student is doing. Feel free to let them make mistakes so they can learn. But always, always remember, safety is your first priority.